Hey team, how you doing? I know it's been ages since we've spoken. What's been happening in your world? I'm sure you've been shimmying up all kinds of fabulous things. Well, given it's been so long between drinks, I thought I'd take a moment to reintroduce myself, both as a way to help me get back into sharing myself online, because ugh, it's tricky when you haven't in a while. Do you find that? It's just kind of awkward. But more importantly, I want to reignite a conversation between us, because that's where the magic is. So, hey, my name's Mike, and I'm here to save the world. From boring work, bland events, and beige bosses. In other words, I help people rediscover their unique strengths and talents and infuse them into their work and life to the great benefit of themselves, the companies they work for, and the communities they serve. It's part magic, it's part science, sugar-free and great for your skin, but all proven to accelerate your impact, revitalize your experience at work, and turn your culture into a competitive advantage. Mm. So prior to the pandemic, the majority of my work took place in live, in-person events. Remember them? And most of them included my beautiful band. But then COVID happened. Boo! So we built a world-class studio in our garage and co-founded a virtual event experience company called Pirate TV. And we've been producing and hosting live internal TV shows for our corporate clients, transforming the way they connect, develop and inspire their people in a work from anywhere landscape. So if you need to upgrade your tiresome, tedious town halls on Teams and build a 21st century cadence of internal comms, please, for the love of your people, reach out. I'm here, I'm waiting. Then there's my latest little bookie wookie, which I don't even have a copy on me. Everyday Creative, a dangerous guide for making magic at work. We published this back in the throes of a Melbourne lockdown and people seem to like it, which is cool. So much so, it was recently named the number one leadership book in the country at the esteemed Australian Business Book Awards. And yes, I'm as surprised as you are. But hey, it happened. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So get yourself a copy if you haven't already. And heck, if you email me with a poem that moves you, I'll send you one and your address. Don't forget that. So what's exciting me now? Well, this sense of possibility I'm seeing in the world of work. It is so thrilling to hear our clients speak of their desire to completely reimagine the way they engage, connect and develop their people, which in my humble opinion has been a long time coming. But I feel like this is our moment. We can finally say goodbye to 500 slides, fluorescent lights, the predictable pantomime of most corporate events and talent development programs and say hello to interactive content, to beautiful learning spaces, and a genuine desire to put the participant experience at the heart of every design decision. So if you've got an offsite coming up or a team that needs a fist bump full of inspo, 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 inspo hit me up. That's our jam. So that's some of the work stuff, but on a personal note, oh, look, I've had a bit of an up and down time. It hasn't been easy, has it? This whole global pandemic thing. I've had some pretty dark moments, if I'm honest, questioning my existence, doubting my value, hiding myself away in a cave of self-deprecation. You know the one. <laughs> Not so much fun, but I have had some beautiful times too. We did just buy our new family home. Yes, at auction. My eldest started school this year. My youngest still sneaks into our bed every single night. And I do still have a love-hate relationship with salt and vinegar chips. We did have five holidays cancelled, but managed to sneak in a party for my 40th, at which I proposed to my best friend. And last week, Sonny got a high five from the goat. So on reflection, despite all these big feelings that life has been on hold or the joy of living has gone cold, quite a lot has happened in the last two years. So what about you? I'm dying to know what's changed, what stayed the same. How has your life been shaped by this funky little patch for our planet. Have you had a chance to think back on it? I hadn't really given myself any time until the weekend, but I think it's a good thing to do because it's May already. And before we succumb to the inevitable grind of a world returning to, you know, what it does, here's my invitation. Take a moment or a morning or a rainy afternoon and reflect on the last two years. List out all the highlights, all the lowlights and everything that you've learned. Then hit reply or shoot me a DM or leave a juicy comment and let me in. If you've been as shy as I've been, 
Let this video be the signal to get yourself out of hiding, push past the fear, and let us into your wild and wonderful world. I love hearing about what you're doing and how you're feeling because it helps me make sense of the life that I'm living. And surely that's the point, isn't it? To go and grow through this beautiful life together. I've missed you muchly. I look forward to seeing more of you. Go team.